Hi, I'm Dr. Mahbub, an ophthalmology resident in Ames, New Delhi. The whole and sole purpose of this session is to regenerate the positive thoughts for the exam and to rebuild the confidence in you for the exam. Obviously, we have worked so hard to reach to this level. And most of the intellectual people consider us to be the cream of the society. So we should be very proud of ourselves. We have a very hectic schedule, hectic work schedule and hectic life. And moreover, we have to study throughout our life. But despite of this, we are in the noble profession. And that's why we should be very proud to be a doctor. When I was preparing for my exam, my PG exam, I have faced a lot of difficulty. So I thought of reaccumulating all those difficulties that stopped an aspirant to clear a PG exam in a very formulative way so that it will be easy to understand and to cover them up. So the first question that is, what is stop you to clear a PG exam? I have divided into it into the two parts, 70% and 30%. 70% of the part is incompleteness of the subject and the lack of revision. I have subdivided this incompletion of subjects into four topics. One is content. If you don't know the content, if you don't know the content or the topic of the subjects very well, how can you make MCQs related to that topic? That is very important. I'm not asking you to cover all the topics of all the subjects. I just mean to say when you set for completing one topic during your preparation and after completion of that topic, you should be able to make 90% of the MCQs or most of the MCQs related to, the, to that topic. Of course, 100% of the MCQ, MCQs cannot be solved because some of them are very hard, very tough. But you should be able to make the basics of the MCQs very clearly. It will help you to resolve all your doubts related to that topic immediately. Okay. Second point is rare topic. Rare topic means there are some topics we are commonly, which are commonly asked in the exam and there are some topics which are very rarely asked in the exam. So divide the topics into common and the rare one so that you have to cover all the common topics from all the subjects first and then go for the rare topics do not waste time in the rare topic before you complete the common topics because most of the questions are from the common topics and if you don't know the common topics it's none of the use reading rare topics. The third point is repeated question. I strongly think that in most of the PG exam, whether it is AIMS PG or NEET PG, 30% of the questions are repeated either directly or indirectly. And you, if you have command on the repeated subject, repeated questions, repeated topics, you will be able to solve 90% of the repeated question correctly. That means it will be very easy to clear PG exam then. And the four one is very important. Four is to one rule for MCQ solving. When you set for MCQ, you should follow four is to one rule. I think it's not the number of MCQ that you make daily important. It's 
how you make a MCQ is important. One MCQ has four options, four different options. So if you analyze each and every option carefully with the help of notes or the reference books, then you will end up extracting the outcome of four questions from a single MCQ. Also, this practice will help you in the exam. When you don't know the answer of one MCQ, you will be able to analyze each and every option and you will be able to rule out the options to reach the answer. And in this process, you will end up with increasing possibility of getting your answer right. Okay. The second important thing that is lack of revision. Lack of revision is very important factor that keeps a bright student from getting a good rank. At this time, when you have two months for AIMS PG and four months for NEET PG. So I think that you should be concentrating on first the revision of those topics from all the subjects which you have read very and second point is that the repeated aims question of recent years recent three years mainly and repeated neat pg questions from three years recent three years it's very important and also focus on the repeated common questions that have been asked for so many times. The third point is you should be concentrating on those common topics which you have not read yet but asked in the exam. This will help you to get a good rank. When you have a very less time, suppose you have only one month for NEET PG, then at that time, leave all the new topics, whether it is common or uncommon. I think at that point of time, you should be concentrating on the revision part mainly and the repeated questions mainly. These two things you should be concentrating on the last month of the exam. Now coming to other 30%, which is a very important factor that keeps you away from getting a good rank. One is stress of the exam. Other one, other one is nervousness during exam. And the third one is fear of failure. You know, stress of the exam which produced a vicious cycle. Vicious cycle means when you are stressed either during preparation or in the exam, you will not be able to give your 100%. This will cause a bad performance. This bad performance again result in the stress and there is a vicious cycle goes on. You need to break this. Nervousness during exam. When you stuck to a to an MCQ in an exam, you should not think that if I have read this topic, I would be able to make this MCQ. You should leave that question there and move on because during exam, time is very crucial. And you have to make maximum question correct during that limited hours. So you should be focusing on the topic that you have read and the questions from that topic that you have read should be answered. Because of the nervousness, you will not be able to see all the question. Maybe the 200th question or 300th question will be, the, will be from the topic that you have read very care in a very good manner. And the 
लास्ट थिंग इज द फियर ऑफ फेलियर नेवर एवर थिंक ऑफ फेलियर बिकॉज दिस विल अगेन लीड टू द स्ट्रेस परफॉर्मेंस विल डिक्रीज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ टू कोप अप आई एम सोइंग यू अ पिक्चर वेयर सैडो इज मच मोर ग्रेटर देन अ मैन दैट मीन्स दैट योर स्ट्रेंथ इज मच मोर देन वट यू थिंक सो एनालाइसिस ऑफ योर स्ट्रेंथ एंड वीकनेस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट whether it is in subject you should analyze which subject is your strength and you should revise that and which subject you is your weak you should focus on that subject also never leave your strength never leave never leave your subject that you are good in but you should also look for the weak subjects too positive thinking is very important it will make the things happen that does positive thinking doesn't mean that you will always get a good result it just mean you will have to be in a stress free mode in a good mood every time if you are getting a very bad rank also you have to be positive that you can go through and i'm sure it will happen take your exam very seriously do not get nervous during exam as it is your enemy and then i'm sure you will give your best whatever you have read you will give your best 50% of the overall subjects you have read you will be able to give your best enjoy the exam because enjoying exam will help you to make mcqs in a very good manner how because if you enjoy the exam you will be stress free never think what will happen what will be the result never fear of that it will cause negativity reduce your performance believe in yourself always say i believe in myself and then you are half way through the pg exam believe your in yourself is a very important thing never think of after exam i know some of you are not working because of preparation there must be a financial issue and you want to earn after this exam but believe me if you keep on thinking what will happen if you don't get a good rank it will only harm you so focus only on the exam and give your best try to give your best and whatever will be happen will happen for the best remember this stretch yourself beyond your limit means always stretch yourself try to increase your strength try to increase your uh, learning hours these are the aims pg you can come here you can come anywhere you can go anywhere you are the cream of the society and believe in yourself is very important yes you can achieve if you want me to make more videos more sessions on how to revise what are the common topics what are the common subjects and what are the common mcqs that have been asked since i am i am i am an ophthalmology resident you can ask me any questions regarding ophthalmology okay and uh, please uh, write comments on that so that i would be able to know what you are expecting from me i am trying to help you and i have been, i will be there for you any time thanks for watching the video